Hello guys, so let's continue in the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, done this modeling of this food stall. Let's continue this. So let's go into this view and take a box over here. So let's take a box. Take a box over here and let's push this a bit inside. Let's go to the top view. Push this over here. Go into this view. Convert to editable poly over here now just copy it down over here just push this down over here alright so after you're done with this part over here let's select this select the polygons over here and this and you can just uh, bridge it select this and just extrude it over here in this way. All right. So once you're done with this uh, stuff over here, let's go over here onto the top view. Let's again take a line tool. Let's take a line tool over here. So take a line tool. Alright, just push this up over here, up till here. Now select the spline and you have option over here, that's your outline. Let's give a bit of a outline over here or you can just push this on the outer side and let's give a extrude modifier and you can just push this up so wherever you require to push this you can just push this so let's go into the vertices just push this over here push it up All right. So go to the top view. Select this. Push it up bit inside. Give it through. So convert to a double poly over here. Let's go to the vertices. This is a sufficient height. Save the file. Let's go into the edge. You can bring it or you can just select it and give one connect over here. That's it. Alright. So let's go to the polygon and give extrude by local normal and just reduce it. That's it. Alright, so once you are done with this, so we do have something over here for this part, so you can just select it. Let's go over here, let's go to the top view 
and if you need to create a box over here you can just create a box as it is barely visible over here so it's not visible but you can create a box to put this glass stuff as uh, this glass stuff is bind on this only as you can see this so if you want you can put this over here a bit of a box part take a line let's take a line and let's go on to this view and let's draw a line over here rendering enabling viewport just increase its thickness push it over here now and just copy it over here click ok duplicate this in here let's go to the top view duplicate it one more time again let's take a rectangle from this view enable in viewport and make it rectangular or you have a modifier called extrude so you can use this extrude modifier in here all right that's it you can just You can go to this view and you can just continue this part. So convert to poly. Go into the vertices and just select it. That's it. All right. So let's go over here and set it as ninety degree. and go to the top view rotate it shift and rotate it to make a perfect copy over here go into the vertices just push it here duplicate it go into vertices and push it over that's it all right so as you can see over here we have done this stuff over here for this all so select this so you can just select the cylinders so you can just select the cylinder and if you want you can just you know you can just uh, attach all of the cylinders all together attach it so you can just go into this or uh, you can select the cylinder attach it all right so let's go into this view select the vertices and push this down right. so just save your file this is going to be a glass over here so let's go over here from this view so now we can take a box you can take a box or you can also create it using a line so let's take a line you can off this enable in view port so you can just take a line Just take a line from here. Just select it and place it over here. Go into the vertices. 
select this vertices and you have option over here that's your fillet so you can give a fillet over here so after you have given this fillet so if you can close it it would be much better so let's uh, close this so what you can do over here is you have an insert option so you can just select this line and click on insert and you can just close this line so just you can check it out no it's not closed yet so let's use the alright so go into the line vertices so you can just select both this fuse vertices red vertices so the position has been lost over here Alright, no problem. So what you can do is just create a line. Just create a line over here, and you can just uh, attach a line with this. So select this fuse vertices. Select this fuse vertices. Right click, red vertices. Right click, red vertices. So as you can see now, we have uh, just attached this part over here and now you can give a modifier called extrude so as you can see now now if you just pull it you can just pull it till here so you can just reduce its side as you want it all right fine so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial